Good day, lords and ladies, and welcome back to another Cornice First Look. This is Marlon's Mystery. Uh, a game developed by made in Mavis and published by Cooking and Publishing. So let's have a Cornice First Look, shall we? So we can have either English or language, or we can delete our data. So it's not a ton of... Um, Options. I would have liked the ability to change down the volume, to be honest. Just one second. I'm just going to adjust, adjust it on my headset, headset then. A bit strange that you don't have an option to change to change the game volume. Um, that's quite a common thing to have. But uh, this, is an, this is a point and click uh, detective game. Like adventure detective game. So let's dive in and see what it's like. Abby, honey, don't you think it's a little late to read, says Nolan. Come on, Dad. I'm almost done, says Abby. My little lady, at this pace, you're going to read all my investigations. You should slow down so you don't miss any details, says Nolan. They're all very interesting, and the nights here are very boring, replies Abby. Okay, for tonight you can get away with it. But remember, we're going back to Barnan, Bar Bernan tomorrow, says Nolan. Hmm... If I go to sleep early, will you let me read your research during the trip, says Abby? It's not finished yet, but I'm about to find something huge, replies to her father. All my clues point to the fact. Abby, wake up. We've got a new case, says Jared. Good morning, Abby. You can't even blink with so much ink. What are you talking about, Jared? says Abby. I don't know, I just wanted to try something new. Anyway, did you fall asleep in reading again? Since we met, you haven't slept much. For me, it's okay to sleep a little, and I concentrate better at night, so I went over some old cases. Speaking of cases, we got a new one. The postman came very early today. It was about time we haven't had a new case in days. I'll leave the letter on your desk. In the meantime, I'll make you some coffee to clear your mind. Abby and Jared together against crime. Okay, so there's the letter. Continue. So it's pretty basic. So we can talk to Jared. You'd expect if you for point and click adventure, you've been so busy you haven't even unpacked the, uh, the brochures advertising the office. How ironic. The old case files. There are really some interesting ones. You'd expect. Okay, this is one thing I will say, you'd expect for a um, point and click game, I know that some of them do do this where they don't highlight when you're hovering over stuff, but at the same time, it's just a nice quality of life, like, they should give you the option to basically have it turned on. Uh, what if I forget something? If you get something at any point that we're up to, you can come and talk to me. I'll write it all down in my notebook for a reason. What do we do? I left the letter on the desk on the left. Don't forget to read it as soon as possible. Okay. Looking for clues from the board is it was helpful. An extract from the news of Countess Evans' Miss Necklace resolved by Marlin Agency. Okay. I think it's not time it's not the time to tell the time to call anyone. Okay. Yeah. Like I have played point and click adventure games in the past. But I would have liked it to have, especially if it's like your office, just to have like things that are highlighted that you can interact with. So let's just click the letter. Abby. Hmm. A murder case. No more lost pets and unfaithful husbands. I hope the murderer is ready to get caught. This is our chance. Maybe I should read the letter more carefully. Bag. All objects will be stored in the bag. Some object can be inspected or used in your deductions. A letter sent by Evelyn, Evelyn Taylor. She wants us to make meet her to talk about a murder case. Miss Abby Marlin, some time ago I read in the papers that you solved the case of Duchess Magatha's, Magatha's necklace. I'd like to hire your service to investigate a murder, a murder of unfortunately involves so a murder that unfortunately involves my family. I'll give you some more details in person. Please come to Tyler's residence 
the end of Boulevard uh, um, Boulevard Avenue next Wednesday at 2 p.m. Evelyn Taylor. Basically, she wants to investigate a murder that unfortunately involves her family. It doesn't mean it's, it's not saying it's currently happened. It could be a past case. Notes. Okay. It could be a past case. It could be anything. I should talk to Gerard before I go. Let's go. Have you read the letter? Yes. There are not many details, but we've... We got the address. Are you ready to go? Well, I'm a little bit nervous. Don't worry, everything is going to be fine, Sabby. And you? Aren't you nervous? It's our first murder case. I'm rather, I'm excited. At least we have a chance, a chance when we have to seize it. Yes, every time we get more serious cases, it looks like we're starting to gain popularity. That's because we make a good team. Well, although it's you who ends up doing most of the work, says Gerard. Don't say that. You're not always end up being very useful to us. I'm so proud of you. I would even say you're the best assistant I've ever had. You're going to make me blush, says Gerald. Hang on. You never had any other assistants. Well, it's getting late, says Abby. We should get going now. Okay, use the map to travel to different locations. So they're going to do the tutorial approach of unlocking things as we go. Abby's office. Tyler's residence. Welcome, says Evelyn. Please come in. You're two minutes late. Sorry for the inconvenience. My name is Abby May Marlon. This is my assistant, Gerard. It's all right. I, apo I apologize for not having been more specific in the letter I sent you. I prefer to tell you the details in person. Do not worry. Usually we don't get a lot of details by letter. Well then, I'll start telling you what happened. Don't mind. I'll take notes for the investigation. Of course, please write down any everything you consider is necessary quietly. Last Friday, last Friday on the 5th, our dear father Edward was murdered. Oh, I'm sorry for your loss. That's weird. It's been two weeks since he was murdered and, the, and now they're connect, contacting a private investigator. Yeah, that is pretty strange. My father was stabbed in his bedroom that night without mercy. Do you suspect anyone? I'm afraid to say my sister Eleanor. You think your sister murdered your father, says Gerard? Very much to my regret, that is what I think. She stabbed my father and escaped with the inheritance he left us. I've, had good, I've heard good things about you, so I decided to contact you to find her. Since the murder, we haven't been able to find her, and, late, and lately she's been acting a little strange. So, more than a murder case, it looks like a search and arrest case. Could you give us more information about Eleanor? What was she wearing that night? Where she went? Well, she wasn't at home that night, so I can't tell. The only thing I can give you is this picture of her. Thank you. It would be great to help to us. But if she wasn't at home that night, how do you know it was your sister? Because uh, Elfon, Elfon saw it all. And who is Elfon? He's my younger brother. I'll tell him to come so he can tell you what happened. Oh, I almost forgot. I had thought of a little test to see if you are the right ones for the task. And in case you are not able to figure it out, I'll have to ask you to leave this house. Hmm? All you need to do is figure out which object has disappeared from this room. I, I guess it's not even a challenge for you, Detective Marlon. I'll be right back with my brother. She's got quite a temper, mutters Gerard, looking at her handwriting. I'd say she was. I'd, I'd have said she was very nice. It seems that she has underestimated our research cap capabilities. Let's look for clues and show her what we're made of, Gerard. Let's do it. Fireplace intact. It seems they didn't use it often. Surely they don't like the smell of ash. Hang on, look. What's under that log? It looks like a piece of pottery. It's signing. It's signed slightly. Perhaps we should analyze it for more details. Well, I can already tell. Look, I'm not going to lie, folks, but I can already guess what's missing because <laughs> this is what, one of the common things in point-and-click games is that you point out things that are missing, and it's basically the fact that the one of the plates is missing. Let's see. Eleanor's portrait. A picture of Eleanor Tyler. 
She seems to be a stiff girl, however she has a very fancy handkerchief. Okay. Interesting. Sarge of Ceramic with blue print. Yeah, it's obviously this that is missing, you can tell. They're even pointing it towards us. Hmm. It looks like Tylers are stri striving to maintain everything in the order. So, it looks like the Tylers are striving for maintaining everything in order in this room, especially at the fireplace. That's true. But still, something that doesn't feel right to me here. Yeah. Something just doesn't feel right. I think we can make a ducks and based on what we have. Alright, when you're ready, open your bag and send the items to the board. Board, use the board to create your deductions, place the objects on it from the inventory. Send an object to the board. Drag them to the board. You can also cut or raise the object using options below. Okay. The fireplace is very symmetrical, but there's something that doesn't feel right yet. So it's the missing... Yeah. Limited some volumes of the famous Do Not Feed the Monkey saga. There are not many like this. My grandma's the same carpet. A portrait of a woman at the bottom, it reads Eve. Okay. My mouse seems to have disappeared. What's going on with this? Yeah, my mouse has vanished. I can't do anything. That's really odd. One second, folks. Yeah, that's really strange. My mouse has completely vanished. I don't know what's happened and I can't... Uh, do anything. I can't even exit. Select menu options. Um, hold on one second, folks. I'm going to have to try and see if I can fix this. We're back, folks. Okay. Had to drop out of the game. Um, seems to have reset it. Don't know why it did that, though. Okay, so let's inspect. You know about that. You know about him saying... Send that to the board. Send that to the board. Fireplace is very symmetrical, but there is something that does not feel right. Let's deduce. Lost object. Apparently the object that has disappeared from the living room is the dish. Shard has spread all over the place. Some must have dropped someone must have dropped it. We got it. I have to say it's been easier than I expected. That's because we make a great team. From the piece of pottery we can deduce that the dish did not disappear, it was broken. But who could have broken it? The incompetent police, they broke it when they were collecting evidence in the living room. Damn louts, says Evelyn. Anyway, this is my brother, Elfon. Hello, my name is Elfon Taylor. Nice to meet you. Hello, we are Abby and Joseph, right? Says Elfon. Actually, my name is... Evelyn told me that you are about you. I guess you want me to tell you what I saw that night. That's right. It would be great help to us to clarify the investigation. Of course, I'll tell you everything I... I, I tell you everything my eyes saw. That Friday, I came home after a badminton game around 6pm. I remember being tired after having won three sets in a row. Not everyone gets that streak, you know. 
so I had a shower and went straight to bed. Hours later, a, no a noise woke me up. I looked at the clock, it was about 10, it was 20 minutes past 10. I got up to see what was going on when all of a sudden I saw my sister Eleanor running down the hall with a backpack. She left so fast I didn't have time to ask her what was going on. Then I went running to my father's bedroom and there it was, where I found him on the floor. I will never be able to erase the image from my mind. It must have been really hard to see, says Abby. It was. After that, I immediately called the police. Did they find anything? The only thing they found was my beautiful my beautiful crockery, says El Evelyn. And they shattered it, just so incompetent. And to top it off, to this day, Eleanor's whereabouts remain unknown. They haven't made any progress. Yes, says Abby. I have it in good faith. How I have it on good faith. How useful the police can be. That is why we have decided to count on your services to help us find her, says Evelyn. All right, we'll start the investigations right away. If you don't mind, we'll explore the house and ask you a few questions. Gerard, are you ready? Of course. Right. One second, folks. Sorry about the background noise, folks. Okay. Lost object. Yeah, that's the completed. Fine. So. Let's talk to the, the witness. Was was Edward at home? Do you know if Edward was home when you arrived? Surely yes. He was probably in his room resting. For any reason in particular, you ask? Yes, lately my father had severe breathing problems. The doctor recommended him to rest and stay at home. Edward's bedroom. Is it possible to take a look at Edward's bedroom? Of course. Simon? Hmm. Well, it seems he's not there. Well, you can go by yourself. The room is upstairs. Take the left corridor. How was your relationship with Eleanor? We never had a very close relationship, although... Since our mother Eve died, it got even worse. Maybe I can deliver a delve more into the, her mother. About her mother. I'm sorry to bring it up, but you mentioned your mother earlier. Would you mind telling me us more about her? My mother passed away 10 years ago because of the influenza. She and Eleanor had a very special relationship. They had always been very close. The reason Eleanor didn't get along with my father was because he never spent time with us in our childhood, nor with my mother in the last moments of her life. He was always focused on his work, and Eleanor never forgave him. Okay. That's the mother there. Okay, all right. So let's go to the new location, which is Edward's bedroom. Hmm. So this is the crime scene. Gerard, you ready? Yeah, but I was expecting something more different. Well, it's been two weeks since the murder, so it makes sense that they tidied it up. It doesn't work in our favour, but it should be a prob it shouldn't be a problem, should it? Oh. Of course. Let's start investigating. Okay, it seems that Ed Edward had trouble with walking. A picture of Eve, she looks a lot like Evelyn. A picture of it, yeah, okay, that's fine. Looks like the seats have been changed. You won't find much in the bed. Is there nothing behind the bed? I can see the last. I can see the last tile of the garden from here. Okay. Oh no, it's locked. What do you think they will be inside? May I help you? Ah, oh my gosh, what a fright! I am Simon, the tailor. The Tyler Butler, family butler. If you're trying to get into that room, it's locked, as you may have already seen. Excuse me, we're detectives hired by Evelyn. This is Abby, and I am Gerard. We're investigating Edward's murder. So you're, you're, so you're the investigators. If you don't mind, I'll be over here tidying up the room. If you need anything, do not hesitate to ask me. But the room is already spotless, and so he just wants to keep an eye on us. Yep, 
shops are, there's nothing there. Day of the murder. Where were you at home the night of the murder? Did you see anything? On Fridays, I usually finish my services at 10.30 p.m. So I was not at home. I'm very punctual when it comes to accom accomplishing my, my work. Although, Elfa, Evelyn, sorry, Elfon, Elfon, although Elfon called me at 10.37 p.m. telling me what happened, I got back as fast as I could. You remember the exact time? I usually write down everything that happens during the day and the, and the time it happens. And could we take a look at those notes? No, it's private, mister. Okay. I was just asking. Door. Would you mind opening the door for us? We'd like to res to research here to, to research here inside too. Even if I wanted to, it's impossible. The door is locked and the only one who has it who has it is Mr. Ethan. Ethan is the eldest son, and right now, if I'm not mistaken, he will be at the factory working. The factory? The Tyler family owns a textile factory on the outskirts of town. What a letdown. It seems that we will be but we will be able to investigate very little in this room. Why don't you look in Eleanor's room? The police barely investigated there. Maybe you can find something interesting. I'll show you where it is. Inquire about Eleanor. Is there anything you can tell us about Eleanor, says Gerard? You should know that I was hired shortly after the death of Eve, her mother. When I met Eleanor, she was quite reserved. Although other colleagues who worked here before me told me she had not always been like that. Her mother's death must have greatly affected her. Okay, so a new location. Eleanor's bedroom. So, this is Eleanor's room. It looks very tidy too. Interesting. Let's see if we can find anything to give us a clue where she might have gone. Okay. So it's going to be... Yeah, you can see that now it's flashing, which is interesting. So let's see. It looks like the drawer is locked. So you might keep her journal in there. We could force the lock. I don't think we should. Okay. Odd lock. A dresser with an odd lock in Eleanor's bedroom. It may be hidden something interesting. Okay. An honorary law degree certified award to Eleanor Tyler. Eleanor seems to like the avant-garde movement. Interesting. Eleanor's desk it has law books and a copy of a room of a room of one's a, a room of one's own by Virginia Woolf. There's a letter inside the box, says Abby. They look like letters from a friend of hers. I don't know if these would be useful to us. Hmm. Look at this one. Maybe we can get some information. A letter from a friend. A letter from a friend of Eleanor described a house with a swing. How are you, Eleanor? I hope you're doing well. I had a great time at the cottage you went the other day. I know this is your favourite place, although I'm sorry for having broken the swing at the entrance. I know you had the good memories of it. I hope we can come back soon. The letter seems to be recent. If only we had a clue about that favourite place. Okay. Interesting. Let's try talking to the butler. The butler tends to know a lot more. Okay. So it's going over the same stuff. Let's talk to the others. Do you have any idea where Eleanor might have gone? Hmm. If I were her, I'd run away somewhere I could hide. Well... We already took took that for granted. Did she have a favourite place or somewhere she used to go? Not as far as I know. I guess you'll have to find out. Do you know if Eleanor had a favourite place? 
She spent a lot of time at the cottage, but the police have already searched the campus high and low. No one has seen her since that night. Okay. One second, folks. Okay. Did you? F don't you find this mark strange, Sabby? Still think something. They took something off the wall. Let's ask Simon. Maybe he knows something. Mark on the wall. We've seen there's a big mark on Eleanor's bedroom wall. Is there something hanging? Indeed. There was a board of which Edna put notes, but a few days ago the hook in the wall fell and broke the frame. Could you tell us where the notes on the board are now? Give me a second, I'll get them for you. Here you go, this is what was on the board. Let's see. They are notes from college and some photos. Hmm. If you'd mind if I keep this picture. There's something about it I find interesting. You can keep it, although I don't know how it can be useful for you. Let's do a deduction. Send those two to the board. A picture of Elnor and her mother on the swing. The unknown house. Well, Elnor's friend wrote in a letter that there were a house with a swing. This matches the photo of Elnor with her mother. Is it possible that Elnor is there? Is it possible that the house mentioned in the letter is the one in the photo? Hmm, what makes you think that? Look at the entrance of the house. The swing! Exactly, we should ask Evelyn if she knows this place. Maybe you can find some clues there. Well, we already did ask her, to be honest, but she didn't have much information for us. Unknown house. Evelyn, is this house familiar to you? Of course, it's the lake house. We used to spend some of vacations there when we were kids. It was my mother's favourite place. You used to? Don't you go there anymore? After the passing of my mother, we stopped going. Everything reminded us of, us of, reminded us of her. Can you tell us where the house is? Of course, but... The house will surely be in bad shape. It hasn't been visited in 10 years. It's fine, we just want to check something. Is it okay if we go early tomorrow, Abby? Yes, I think we've done enough for today. Alright then. When we're ready, let's go back to the office and rest to recharge our energies and continue the investigation. Okay. So we still have the mysterious lock. We have the picture of the missing child. Uh, so let's clear that. We don't need that anymore. We know that she's at the rest house. So yeah, this has been... Well, this has been the game. Um, it's... It's an interesting game. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm a bit surprised it's lacking some standard features like an options menu. And it's like Marlin's Mystery. Um, I'm, it's lacking a lot of basic features, quality of life stuff like sound, volume, and bits and pieces like that. Um, also, the issue we had with the mouse disappearing or locking up was actually quite a bit strange. It forced me to basically close and restart the game. Um, also, the fact you can't save, I'm not a fan of. I mean, like, it's an interesting concept for a game, and if you like it, I suggest you pick it up. I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, I generally like the feel and uh, the way the gameplay works, but it just needs a bit more quality of life. It needs the ability for you to manually save, in my honest opinion. 
it needs the ability for you to have more options like volume control. Um, but besides that, it, it's an, an interesting point and click adventure game. Um, so if you're interested, I would pick it up. But besides that, like I, I don't know. It's it seems it just seems to need a little bit more polish, just in some of the basic quality of life things. But that's that's just my personal opinion. Um, I've been Cornish Knight. This has been Marlin's Mystery, and I shall see you all again next time. Goodbye.